Hi everyone, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Thank you for joining me today. In the sequence we are, today we will be practicing mostly off of the chair, but using the chair with support. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna make sure that we're practicing ahimsa, which is the Sanskrit word for nonviolence. Making sure that we're doing everything that is comfortable for ourselves. In many cases, you may be experiencing some injury or you have limitations from just discomfort or pain. Reminding ourselves not to push it too far, but also taking note that motion is lotion. So many times we have discomfort in our body because it's just stuck. The blood, the chi as we call it, the chi is our life force or our prana, our life force is not, it's just stuck, so it's not moving. So we're gonna try to lubricate those joints, move into the body and be weary of what we're feeling or how we're feeling to ensure that we have a wonderful practice. Okay, if you like this sequence or any of my other videos, please subscribe to me and I hope to see you very soon. But let's get started. So feet planted firmly into the ground, feet spread apart, knees on top of the ankle, shoulders tucked on top of the waist. Draw the belly in, draw the chin in, lift the crown of the head. Now we are set for a perfect seated posture here. Let's go ahead and take two breaths, setting the intention for motion is lotion in the body. Another breath, focusing on practicing nonviolence to the body, being weary and conscious of our limitations and potentially injuries. Breathing in, breathing out. And one more breath to focus on making this a really wonderful practice. Inhaling, exhaling. It's always nice to set the intention of your practice. Hands on top of the thighs, let's open up the chest for seated cow, chest up, tailbone sticking to the back, lifting up your chin, and then exhaling, rounding the back, reach the fingertips to the front, drawing the belly to the back of the chair, draw the chin into the chest. Good, breathing in, exhale, breathing out. We're articulating the spine, putting breath, movement and blood, inhaling, exhaling. Okay, breathing in, roll the shoulders back and down, stick the tailbone out, breathing out, draw the belly to the back, reach your fingertips to the front, chin in. One more, breathing in and exhale, breathe. Well done. Let's take our arms up, inhale, lift, chest up, belly drawn in, breathe out. Inhale, think about taking positive energy from the universe, bring it right onto the body, into the body, close to the heart. Inhaling, exhaling. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Let's open up the chest, breathing in, breathing out. We're just opening up the lung space, preparing for our practice. In and out, breathing in and out. Right arm up, lift and sway. We're expanding our lung space, so we're opening up the rib cage, this intercostal spaces of our ribs. Lift, breathe in. Breathe out, again, inhale up, exhale, sway. Breathing in, lift up, and exhale, sway. One more time, breathing in, lift, breathe out. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Other side, lift and sway. Remember, we're trying to put a little bit more space into the ribs for more breath. To those lungs, breathe out. Oh, we forgot to take our arm down. Lift and release, breathing in, 
breathing out. That's just the universe saying we need more on this side, or at least for me, breathing in, breathe out. One more time, breathing in. We got a little extra on this side. Breathe out. Perfect. Inhale, exhale. Let's roll the shoulders up and down. Breathing, one, two, and three. Take your fingertips on top of the shoulders. Nothing tense, nothing grippy, just placing them there. Lift the elbows up and around. Okay, breathing in and out, in and out. Other way, in, round the back maybe a little, in, rounding, breathe in and round. Expand now, breathe in and out. Whew. I want you to imagine you're taking your sweater off, lifting, crossing the arms up, and pressing the hands to the sides. Great. Imagine, again, pulling that sweater off or sweater off of the head and down. Don't forget to breathe in. It doesn't matter which way you cross the arms, just cross them. Breathing out, we're gonna do five of these. Breathing in, crossing the arms, breathing out. Inhaling, take that imaginary sweater off and breathing out. Well done. Okay, how's everything feel? We're gonna shake it out and then let's go ahead and stand up, okay? So press into your feet, draw the belly in. This is a really great practice when we are doing anything getting off of the chair. We're gonna press into our feet, very conscious of what we're doing. Use our hands to press off of the chair, excellent. And then let's go ahead and turn the chair around, okay? So I'm placing the chair ahead of me and making sure that it's nicely planted firmly into the ground here. I'm repositioning my body now so that my feet are hip width distance apart. Are you seeing a pattern here? Even when we're seated, the feet are hip width distance apart underneath my knees, right? So the feet and ankles are underneath our knees, Shoulders still stuck on top of the waist. We're drawing the belly in, okay? We're lifting our chest up and the crown of our head is still lifted. So making sure that we're not too far and not too close, but we're just right. So go ahead and if you want, step nice and close to your chair and just go ahead and do a one step back, gentle step, nothing too drastic, that we can easily place our uh, hands onto the chair. Now from here, I want us to try to do our first downward dog in our sequence today. To do this, we need to plant our feet into the ground, keep our knees soft, tight bellies. Let's take our arms up. One, two, breathe in, breathe out, place your hands, both hands on top of the chair. Okay, inhale, we're going to have our chest up and intentionally stepping back. One, two feet so that we are arms distance apart, our knees are bent and soft, and we're sticking our tailbone out. We're gonna stretch into the shoulders, and you're gonna find that this is a gentle shoulder stretch. Now, to get into our legs, we're gonna step a little bit further back, keeping the legs bent, and lifting our tail up, drawing the belly in, and making sure that our head is not surpassing our arm. So it's not like that. Okay, so keep the head nicely neutral to the spine and stretch. Breathing here, bending the knees, maybe sticking the tail up. So you're feeling that nice, beautiful stretch on the backs of the legs, breathing in here, breathing out, and then come on back up stepping back up. So we're gonna do that a couple more times. Inhale, one, two arms up, breathing out. Inhale, stepping back, exhaling. So if we were to be doing a downward dog on the floor on a yoga mat, we would be actually doing the exact same thing here, but now we're getting the exact same benefits, stretching and opening up the arms, the shoulders, into the backs of the legs, drawing our belly in, extending, making sure our head is not surpassing. 
We're getting all the beautiful benefits of downward dog here. Breathing in and out, and then walk your feet toward your chair, toward your hands, okay? Three times a charm, one more time. Inhale, one, two arms up. Exhale, release, breathing in. Exhale, stepping back, bending those knees, drawing the belly in, extending and opening up the chest, widening the back of the shoulder blades, sticking the tailbone up and out, inhaling here, exhaling. Well done, come on back. Ooh, that was a great stretch. From here, arms up, breathing in, and exhale, release. Go ahead and step back with our left foot, okay? Just like that. And look where we are, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. I'm gonna reposition my front foot so that my front knee is on top of the ankle and the back leg is straight and strong. My hips are gonna be facing the front, okay? So nice square hips to the front back of your chair here. Okay, from here, I want you to straighten the front knee and bend it. So when we bend it, we're not going to bend it beyond the ankle. We're gonna keep it right on top of the ankle, okay? So straighten, breathing in, and bend. Okay, straightening and bending. How does that feel? Do you need to adjust your feet? Do you need to widen the stance? Toe heel them out and give yourself a larger tripod surface to feel nice and secure onto the ground while being supported by the chair. Okay, so straightening, breathe in, breathe out. So always making adjustments to your practice to make it right for you. Bend down. Now let's do it with arms. Breathe in, arm up, breathe out. Inhale, I'm straightening the arm, leg while raising the arm up and I'm bending down. See that? Straightening the leg, arm up, hand comes down, I bend the leg in the front. Breathe in, breathe out, and I'm alternating hands. Breathing in, breathing out, and let's see, how does it feel? Hands of the heart as we straighten and bend. Okay, chest up here, straightening and bending. Good, straightening. Chest up, bending, two more, straightening, bend, back leg is still straight, straight, bend, and let's take both hands all the way up, and bend. Can we do two more of those? Inhale, exhale, breathing in, breathing out, well done, okay, we need to even out the body now. So step forward, use the support of your chair, stepping forward, breathe in. Let's go ahead, step back, downward dog. Bend those knees, draw the belly in, open up the chest, stick the tailbone out, bend those knees, bend those knees, inhaling here, exhaling. Everybody okay? Keep on breathing and walk your feet toward your chair. Okay. Let's even out the body and do the other side. So go ahead and step back with the right foot. Now to widen the stance if you need to do a wider stance. Back leg is straight and strong. Hips square to the front of your space, to the back of the chair, front knee on top of the ankle, okay? Making sure that this knee's not sagging in either. Keep it right on top of the ankle and keep the shoulders on top of the waist, okay? Great, now let's test it on this side. Mm, I feel like I'm a little bit too far back. I stepped too far back. I was being a little, a little um, aggressive on this one. So what I have to do is I need to come back forward and you scooch myself a little bit more forward and then I need to step back again. Now I feel like I'm supported by the chair and I'm in the perfect position. So don't find the right space for you and make sure it's a good practice for yourself. Okay, let's try it out. Straightening the front knee, bending. How's the side? Breathing in and out, bending. Make sure front knee is not gonna bend beyond that ankle. Keep it on top of the ankle. We don't want any sort of injury here. Inhale, 
exhale, chest up, tight belly, in, out. Are we getting the hang of it? In, out. Vira Bhadrasana one, warrior one, with the support of a chair. Okay, let's take the arm up. Inhaling, so arm comes up, bottom leg, front knee straightens, breathe out, release. Other arm, breathing in, arm up, straight leg, breathe out, bend. Inhaling, exhaling. Breathing in, breathe out. Tall and proud here, in, out. So spine is nice and tall, breathe in, breathing out, inhale, exhaling, pressing into that back leg, keep that nice leg straight and strong at the back, inhale, exhale, let's do two more on each side, breathe in, and out, in, and out, breathing in, you got it, breathe out, inhale, and exhale. Now, hands to the heart, breathing in, breathing out. In, out, breathing in, and out. Now, both arms up. Inhale, reach straight in front of the arms, and breathe out. Let's do two more. In, you got it. Breathe out. Draw the belly in here. In, and out. Well done, okay. Grip onto that chair, step forward, inhale here, go ahead, step back, bend those knees, expand the chest, expand the rib cage in the back, draw the belly in, stick the tailbone up and out, don't tuck that tailbone under, breathe in here, it's a full body downward dog stretch, breathe out, well done, let's come on up, well done, how's that feel? Take a breath here, breathing in. <sighs> Breathe out, well done. Okay, let's get back down onto the chair. I'm gonna move it back, sorry for the loud scoochy noise of the chair here. I'm gonna bring our feet back down. How's everybody feel? Okay, from here, I'd like you to take your hands on top of the thighs. Let's go ahead and take the right knee up to our chest, interlacing the fingers, chest up. So making sure both sit bones are on the chair, lifting up here, breathe in, holding it, exhale, breathe out. I want you to round the back here, good. Inhale, lifting back up, and exhale, releasing. Breathing in, chest up, breathing out, rounding the back, inhale, Exhale, release. Can we do the two more times on each side? Making sure you're in a good, comfortable position on the chair and supported. Chest up, tight belly, breathe in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe out, rounding the back, softening the belly a little. Good. Inhale, chest up, tight belly, release. Again, breathing in, breathing out, rounding. In, chest up. And release, can we do one more on each side? Breathing in, breathe out, rounding, rounding. In, chest up, tight belly, release, good. Breathing in, interlace, breathe out, softening a little, in, and release, well done. Now, I'd like you to take the right knee and cross it over. So the right knee is on top of the left thigh, not on the kneecap, but on the thigh, please. From here, I'd like you to roll out the ankle. Okay, so I'm rotating it one way. If you like to take the hand, just don't grip it too hard on the foot, but go ahead and rotate the ankle one way. And let's go the other way. This feels really good. These ankles don't get a lot of love, do they? Okay. Good. How's that feel? Good? Okay, give your foot a little tap. Amazing. And then from here, I'd like you to have your chest up. Breathe in here. Hinge forward, reaching forward as though you're leaning forward, nice and flat back. 
And then when you feel something into this hip, I'd like you to round the upper back and melt, softening here, breathing in and out, inhaling, exhaling, big breathing in and out. With a nice tight belly, come on up. Tight belly, tight belly, lift up. And then from here, can you cross the leg? See how that feels? Readjust the bottom foot so it's more in the center and you feel nice and secure. Both sits bones down onto the ground. We're gonna do a gentle twist here. So taking your right hand, I'm mirroring you. Take your right hand, press it behind you on the chair. Take your left hand to the outside of that right thigh. Inhale, we're gonna lift and lengthen up and exhale, gently twist. Okay, inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep your chin right over the chest here, please. Breathe in and exhale, twist. Now from here, go ahead and look behind you all the way to that right shoulder. Breathe in and then exhale, let's look over the left shoulder, relaxing the shoulders and breathing for a gentle neck and shoulder stretch. Breathe in and out. Two more breaths, in, out. One more breath in and exhale, release. Well done. Help that leg up and down. Give yourself a little shake, little tap whatever you need to do to feel really, sometimes I take my hands into the back of the chair and I just give my legs up a little shake. Ooh, that feels good. And then let's do the other side. Do you remember what we did? Hmm, what did we do? Okay, we're gonna take this leg now, cross it over, okay? So that's our left leg now on this side, left ankle on top of the right thigh, okay? Both sits bones down onto the ground. We're gonna have our chest up, hinge at the hips, hinge at the waist, come flat as a board forward. When you start to feel something into this outer area, into the hip, I want you to round the upper back and melt forward for three breaths. Melting in this position. Breathe in and out. Try to soften your face. Close your eyes as you do this because it helps to deepen the stretch. Breathe in. Out. One more breath in and out. Well done. Tight belly. Anytime we're in a forward fold, we engage our belly muscles to support our spine. Tight belly, come on up. Inhale. And then exhale. Let's lower that leg down into a nice tight leg cross. Okay? Of course, if this is uncomfortable for you, you will omit this entire part of the the, the practice. But if it is okay for you, you will continue. Okay, from here, let's take our left hand, place it behind us. The right hand's going to come to the outside of that left thigh. Inhale, lift and lengthen up. Exhale, gently twist. Okay, so we're twisting to the left side. Breathing in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed, your chin over your sternum. Breathe in, lift and lengthen, exhale, twist. Good, from here, go ahead and look all the way behind you. Still stay nice and tall, looking at the left shoulder. Breathe in, and then exhale, turn your head to look over the right shoulder. With soft shoulders here, maybe closing your eyes to deepen the stretch, breathe in. Out, inhaling, exhaling, one more breath, in, and exhale, unwind. Okay, you know what I forgot on the other side? Oh, let's take that leg out. I guess it doesn't really matter if we do it in the exact sequence but we need to rotate this ankle. I was feeling something is a little off on this side. 
See how with the yin and yang of the balance of ourselves, we always want to try to make sure we do the same thing on both sides. And of course, the side that's the grumpiest, so you're feeling a little bit more stuck there, a little bit more tight, you're going to start with that side first if you do this practice without me on like the video. But go ahead and always do the grumpy side first. Okay, so let's rotate the ankle. You can take your hand, help it, crank it, but don't crank it literally where it's going to feel uncomfortable. Just nice and easy. This for sure is my grumpy side. I actually feel some discomfort. So that means that probably after this video, I'm going to go ahead and do a little more extra on this side. And that means that you should do it too if you're feeling that as well. Okay, and then let's go ahead and tap. It's nice to get a little circulation into those feet because a lot of times we don't um, do that. I'll have to do another video on everything to do with our ankles and our feet. Okay, well done. So let's release that foot down and go ahead and take your hands behind you. Give yourself a little shake. And then let's shake out the arms. Maybe again, shake out the legs. And then let's close our practice with our hands up to the thighs, breathing in with a nice cow pose. Exhale with a nice cat. Two more times, breathing in and breathing out. And last one, breathe in and out. Well done. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the practice and if you liked it, please subscribe to me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.